With this, your fate is sealed. No. No, how is that possible? How did you get that card? By believing in the heart of the cards. That's... that's the wrong card game. It's time for another Import Legacy. I'm Bilal. And I'm Malik. Wait, where's Emerald? Oh, I sentenced her to the Shadow Realm. Why? She lost a very important game of Magic the Gathering. It was on motorcycles. Makes sense. Anyways, since today's episode is about card games, we'll be covering every major card game from Magic the Gathering to Pokemon. So, let's begin. Magic the Gathering released on August 5th, 1993. While initially played by fans of Dungeons & Dragons, Magic's audience later expanded to include others as well. A year after its release, over 1 billion cards had been sold. That's a lot of dedicated players. How many of them do you think have been documented by Buttcrack Man? Moving on... Based off of the recently released video game, the Pokemon card game was first published in 1996 and came to North America three years later. Since then, there have been numerous expansions based on all of the games that came out. If the decks have that much in common with the games, that means they're basically all the same, am I right? Am I right? Yeah. Shut your face. Speaking of cards and video games, Nintendo released a peripheral device for the Game Boy Advance that combined both. It was called the e-reader and was released in 2001 in Japan and 2002 in the US. It allowed a user to scan specifically coded cards into games to unlock bonuses and play mini games. Sadly, however, it ultimately failed in terms of sales in the States. Yu-Gi-Oh! was launched in 1998 and was a huge success. In 2009, the Guinness Book of World Records named it the top-selling card game in the world. Over 22 billion cards worldwide had been sold and the number is still growing to this day. Meanwhile, the anime has been stagnating for years. Hey, remember when the protagonist got card game advice from a ghost? You done yet? Haven't we covered practically every major card game already? Oh, what about Vanguard? The Vanguard card game was released worldwide on May 2011, a few months after the anime came out in Japan. Since then, the series has blown up, getting a manga, video games, and even a radio show. My friend tried to get me into this a few years back, and I already forgot the rules to this game. That's nice. I'll finish up so I can get rid of you. But we haven't even gotten into how card games affect Western culture. Though card games were always big in Japan, they've also had a huge influence in America. There have been card games based off of numerous Western icons and shows, such as Harry Potter and Game of Thrones. Seems like they can make a card game out of anything. <gasps> Do you think we can make a card game based off of Etrian Odyssey? Greatest idea ever, am I right? Oh shut up, you've been getting on my nerves the entire episode and your Etrian Odyssey garbage isn't making it any better. Oh yeah? What are you gonna do about it? Hmm. I'll summon the three Egyptian god cards. But I thought we were playing Pokemon. Those are Pokemon cards, no! Now I have to find a way to get Emerald out of the Shadow Realm. 